Hello again, everybody. This is Bill McCabe, and we're going to pick up where we left off uh, in our previous video. Sensei Chris Entis, Entis demonstrated the mantis form, and then I promised at the end of that video that I'd go back and revisit the form and take a look at how self-defense uh, moves uh, can be explained and uh, are, are easily visible in the way the form unfolds. Many kata have concepts that are deep and well concealed and well hidden, and you don't really understand what those concepts are about until you're several decades down the road. Mantis um, uh, is like a storage vault for quick, clean, and simple techniques that you'd want to have in your basic self-defense arsenal. So if Sensei Chris, you'll go on out for a second. And uh, be, before you look at this whole video, you might want to go back and review the mantis. We're not going to, to, to replay the kata here since it exists in its entirety on a previous film clip. So we'll just pick up uh, with the mantis starting from the top. The bow of the mantis is in, it, is in itself a self-defense technique. He's with me, and, and I'll be the person executing the kata. Uh, let's just say we're, we're talking, he grabs me, and, and the bow itself is a self-defense technique. This is called when entering the cavern or boxing the ears, uh, riding the tiger, and you go down, and you go back and clear. As you go back, uh, the assumption is this person's grabbing you, uh, another person's about to put you in a headlock or coming at you from the rear. You hit, pressure points, pressure points, back, and then he comes at you again, and you finish the job. And this could just be a push-off, or it can be a strike, okay? And that's the prelude to the form itself. The bow is a master archibek conceived bow, so we use that to introduce all of our forms and also to end the forms. But it is a bow that is a basic self-defense technique. Okay, so as the form begins, the attacker grabs my hands. First concept here is how to break balance by splitting energy. Okay, which is a very solid concept. I split energy, and as I split energy, I bring my target in, and I hit it. And I break down, and I hit it again. Okay, so that move will look like this. Balance, up, hit, and come across, and clear. So let's actually execute that. Balance, break, come across, and hit the clear. Okay? So he's gone. His partner comes in, grabs my hand. This is a rollover technique. Basically right out of Tai Chi if you're familiar with Tai Chi Chuan. Roll over, hold a pressure point, and hit. Roll over, and I actually close on. Roll over, and hit. Okay, so the sequence in the form, if you step back, sir. Bring balance, strike, over, clear, roll over, and hit. And that's where we're at. Okay, so he's here. I just rolled over and hit. He goes back, I follow him, forward, and hit. So grab, sir. Roll over, hit, there's his head. Up, in. Okay? I have to refresh my memory a little bit here because it's complicated explaining this. After I hit, he recoils, his hand comes forward with a strike. I clear, I go in underneath, elbow. Elbow. From the top, he grabs two hands, break balance, hit, strike, clear, grabs my hand, Roll over, in, in, pressure points, hit. Stand him up, comes across, in, hit. Comes from the side, left side. Here I throw him into space. This is a balance breaking technique. I capture and stay here, sir, if you will. Here and on the left shoulder. When done quickly, the person just literally leaves the ground. So uh, as he comes forward, grabs him. And the spot is here. 
this is where all his mass is centered. His line is slightly diagonal, so he goes flying off into space. Okay, so here's where we're at in the form. We're already going to show how these break out for the first, probably for the first half of the form. We won't have enough time to do the whole thing. And we're right here at this point in time. So that attacker is gone. Off from the right angle comes one of his friends. So right hand attack, he will start. One, two, three. Three. Okay, again. One, two, three. So here, one, two, three. Again. One, two, three. Okay, he's gone. Another attacker's coming over here. So he, I just finished with this man. He comes at me with a left punch. I go around the punch, cover, hit, capture, strike. And as I strike him, I literally sent about to the person I just left behind. Observe as I do this, several things are happening to his arm. I strike. Right here, I snap. Okay, and then he's gone. I turn about, there's another man coming at me. Here, coming at me to grab with his left hand. Left hand, feel, sir. And strike. I ride right up over the top, and go around with the camera, take a look at how I'm bringing his head down, if you will. Um, bringing his head down here, resting it. It was a full capture, so I've got leverage. And the slight angle here changes his body balance, so he comes down quite easily. As he goes down, I strike. Capture his head and roll him over. And he's down on the ground. Last move here before we end the first half of the form. He grabs me with two hands from the rear. This is a new attacker. I roll outside, do a classic crane move, take him down to the ground. And we won't take him down to the ground too hard today because we're gentlemen. Um, it concludes at that point, rolling back to the bow, and from this point you go to the second half of the kata, which is a mirror image of the first half, with the exception of some variations. How much time do we have? 7.25. Okay, what we're going to do, we have just a little bit of time left. Uh, the second half basically goes or resonates the same as the first half. Okay. So you have to hear and the final moves are uh, I'm sorry, you take the hand down, um, you clear as you did the first time to the rear, and then if Sensei and Chris will come to the front, they have to clear to the rear. He's an attacker coming to the front. Doesn't matter what he does, he kicks, grabs, whatever. This is the cold beast who stands on one leg. Again, he comes in. This is a classic Thai boxing move. I, I think it's actually called the same thing in Thai boxing. And I go down after hitting the pressure button, I drive him away, I come back, and I do essentially the same move with an attacker coming from the rear. So, it's, if this is north, I hit the first guy, come back, hit the second guy, and I passively recede, I do the vowel, and go back to my starting position, uh, and that concludes. We only have a few seconds to share it with you, but uh, uh, take a look at it. It should give you some ideas, some ways to move, and if you look closely at the uh, sequence there, the entire elbow strike sequence of 10 elbow strikes adopt the formation rule are included within. So, it's pretty complicated. I hope you can enjoy it, work with some of the ideas. Until we meet again, stay well.